everyone, and welcome back to the Today's Show Detroit. I am Zach Damon. Thank you so much, so much for joining us. I am so excited to have Leslie and Angel, the president and CEO of MIUCD, uh, with us. And of course, right before the break, Leslie, you talked about uh, just some great points and why it was important to give back to the community and, of course, promote uh, the many programs and services that MIUCD has to offer. And of course, MIUCP has many programs available, including but not limited to the, the Accessibility and Mobility Program, Assistive Technology, which is one of my favorites, Financial Services, which is extremely important, and then of course, Employment Services, which we at the Disability Channel really push as well. And of course, you talked about it, advocacy and how important that is to be able to develop the skills to be able to speak up for yourself. So can you share a bit about these programs or one of them uh, and, and why they're important? Well, um, they're all very important. Um, and again, you know, the program, everything that we do in terms of programming is focused around helping people to have access. And so when we look at our work with assistive technology, um, we have a, a program that's called um, Bellows that's through our national pro, um, in support of our national organization where we are able to actually provide um, assistive technology to people. We offer um, an assistive technology loan fund, which is a great partnership with Michigan State Federal Credit Union, where we're able to support people who um, may have had credit challenges and other barriers to accessing funding for things such as a ban or home modifications. And so we're able to support people and help guarantee um, the loans, a loan that they may not have been able to get, you know, based on whatever um, prior history, credit history a person may may have had. Um, we just implemented a new program that um, where we're doing direct loans um, and not involving the credit union, where we're able to do them um, up to a maximum amount of two thousand dollars at, at at zero interest. And um, and again, it's another way for us to help get assistive technology into the hands of people. Um, we are also one of the um, work incentive planning assistance projects, uh, often referred to as WIPA, funded through the Social Security Administration. And under that program, um, we partner with um, two other agencies here in the state of Michigan, um, the ARC Michigan, and then there's a new organization um, based in the west side of the state um, called Star and Associates. And our focus is to provide um, benefit counseling for individuals who receive both SSI and SSDI who are looking to work or return to work. Um, we serve a small pocket. We serve um, Wayne, Macomb, and St. Clair counties for that project. And then you have the ARC that has a big chunk. And then um, the, um, uh, the other organization serves the, the UP and the upper portion of the state. And so our focus is to get accurate information into the hands of people as they look to, to go to work or to increase employment opportunities. And you know, right now with the job market, and I, I really see opportunities um, for people with disabilities to take advantage of what's happening out there in the world of employment. Um, we also have two ramp programs, um, one called Ramps for Independence, and that program is focused on building um, ramps. And right now we're in the process of trying to get additional funding. Um, to date, we've built over 66 ramps, um, and we partnership with uh, we partner with Habitat for Humanities and the the Lansing area. Um, unfortunately, that's not a statewide program, and right now we're only able to support seven counties. And of course, we're looking to expand and looking for additional funds 
so that we can make that a statewide program. We have another uh, ramp program called Quick Ramps for Kids. And Quick Ramps for Kids is where we provide free portable ramps to families that have a child with any paralysis causing condition. And um, the neat thing is that we just got some additional funding for that, that program. It's not a building ramp program. And so not every home is um, adaptable for a quick ramp, but there are many um, homes that are. And to date, we've um, provided just under 300 ramps um, to families. And so, um, as I mentioned, we have some additional funds. And so we are, um, we are accepting applications um, for that RAM process. And it's, and it's a very simple, all you have to do is, you know, identify the need, provide some measurements of your home and um, verification that your child has a, a paralysis causing condition. And, and, and that's it. We don't look at income or any of those things. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, yeah, and I, mean, and I mean the service you do equip with uh, with uh, the uh, quick ramps for kids, uh, just amazing. I mean, wonderful, wonderful thing. And yeah, folks that are watching, I mean, understand that these resources are available. There is hope. You can do it. And then, of course, Leslie, I really loved how you touched on employment and the professional uh, aspect of things because it, uh, you know, from my experience, you know, people with disabilities look. You know, we are working professionals. We are uh, young professionals. We can be Fortune 500 owners of companies. Uh, and of course, with assistive technology, uh, as you touched on, it's only going to become more prevalent. And folks, we too uh, can be uh, up there and doing great things in the professional world and working. So, I mean, Leslin, MIUCT, offering uh, great resources uh, and great hope. Uh, for those looking to continue uh, and contribute great things uh, to uh, our great state of Michigan. Folks, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with Leslie.